You cannot come to Bangkok without eating Pad Krapao. And in today's video, we're going to venture onto the more local side of Bangkok and try the best Pad Krapao I have had, not just in Bangkok, but in Thailand. Let's do it. I'm in the Tombori area of Bangkok just the other side of the river. I got off at Wong Wang Yai station and really easy to get to. It's a BTS station. And then just a, a few meters from the station steps, you turn down this street called Kung Tombori One. And this street is an absolute treasure trove of amazing street food. I'm gonna stop at one place on this for the Pad Krapao. And then we're gonna stop just at the end of the street for the Pad Thai. But you really can't go wrong on this street. There's street stalls selling delicious street snacks and then there's a few restaurants as well which i will point out but you know i'm just one person today so we can't stop at everywhere okay guys first stop of our two stops to get the national dishes of thailand is original pad krapao and as you can guess they serve pad krapao here so it's called original pad krapao 1993 it hasn't been here since 1993. That's just when the owner was born. So, swadi kap, swadi kap. So I have eaten here before. I know it's pretty damn good and I cannot wait to show you this one. So let's head inside. We'll order a couple of dishes, watch them cook it and then we'll give it a taste and show you. Okay, I'm inside. And the first thing you'll notice is the menu is totally in Thai. I don't speak or understand Thai, but if you use Google Translate, you can actually hold the camera over it and get the translations. And it does make life a bit easier, but in this restaurant, in the original Pag Krapao, B, the lovely owner here, speaks English, so you don't need to worry so much about it. So I think I said we're gonna get two. Ao Pag Krapao Mu and Ao Pag Krapao Gung Kap. Two dishes, Chai Kap. So I've ordered Pag Krapao Mu, which is pork, and Pad Krapao Gung, which is prawn. Both must try dishes here, I would say. And you get a choice of spice levels. And I think we'll go for, I think we'll go for this one. Ped Mat. Yeah, spicy. Yeah. Chai Kap. Chai Kap Kap. Fried egg. Chai. To, on one on the beach. Kap. Popcorn cap. Okay, I said 1993 was B's birthday, but I got it wrong. It was actually Noon, the guy. Um, it's his birthday, so yeah. Didn't, just wanted to correct that one. And we also have, wherever we go, we've got kids here and they're always so cute and so friendly. So we have another little friend here who will probably come and eat with us at some point. But, oh, you want to say hello? Hello. Swally cap. Hello. Oh, popcorn cap. Now we're going to go into the kitchen and watch them cook. Body cap. Body cap. Body cap. Body cap. Already, <laughs> you get the, the chilly, the dry chilly heat. It just takes your breath away a little bit. So I'll explain to you. Ah, so the gong cap. The prawns go into the pan. You can just see the heat on that wok over the flame. You look at those chili. And then you've got the, the minced garlic here too. Got the heat coming off that wok. You can see it. And you can see how quickly they cook. And when I say wok hay, this is what I mean. It's like the flavor of the wok. And you only get that when you're cooking over this level of heat. But that is what gives it the flavor. In goes the garlic. In goes the chili. And that's when it starts to take my breath away. Fresh chili, red and green chili. And then some, <coughs> and then some dried chili. That's the one that hits you in the back of the throat. And these guys are used to it. He'll be here all day. <coughs> okay, and the sauce of Krapao goes in. And you can see, as I say, how quickly this cooks. In goes the Krapao leaves. Or the holy basil. And that is what gives it the flavor. So dish number one, onto the rice. How interesting is this, that when they fry the egg, they separate them, so you should put the white in first and get that cooking, and then the yolk goes in on top. That is how she gets the perfect fried egg. 
I'd never have thought of that. Look at that. How cool is that? Now we're onto the pork or the mool. Akrapao mool. This is the traditional one, I'd say. This is the one you're going to find most often. Again, garlic. Minced pork this time goes into the pan. Same in the wok over the high heat. Fresh chilies go in, red and green. As ever, it's exactly the same recipe, guys. It's just with a different meat. Chilies are in. Sauce goes in. And again, just as quick as the, as the prawn one. Right guys, I know we watched it get cooked, but let me just show you this a little bit before we tuck into it. So I've got two dishes here, as you saw. I've got the pagrapao gung, which is the prawn. And just look at the size of these prawns. I think if this is a pretty fair price, it's 79 baht for gung, and then 59 baht for the mu, which is the pork. And yeah, as I say, pretty huge price. In there, you can see the chilies. You can see the krapao leaves, the Thai basil. You've got the garlic in there and the sauce. And the sauce is made from soy sauce, palm sugar, and oyster sauce. And then on top, that incredible fried egg. All on a bed of rice or cow, white rice. And yeah, you don't have to go this spicy, like I said. I mean, this one is packed with chilies. It's exactly the same ingredients for the mool, as you can see. Uh, but yeah, minced pork in there, chopped up nice and finely, but not minced to a mush, so there's a good texture to it. They have chicken, they have pork, they have vegetable, they have prawn. It is really what you prefer. And then they both come with this like this broth, this chickeny broth, and really packed with flavor usually. And sometimes it comes with winter melon in, but this one has radish, which is also quite common too. I guess it's time to get stuck in. And I'm going to start with the prawns just because they're hot and they'll continue to cook. So you want them at their best. The, the mood of pork can wait. And <laughs> I did order spicy, but it's a good level of spice, right? He saw me and heard me coughing in there. And that is because of the dry chili. And dry chili, when it hits the oil in the pan, does send up these fumes and kick the back of, back of the throat. But don't be put off by that. Push your limits on spicy. I think when you're in Thailand, the base flavor is spicy, so you know. But if, if it really is too much for you, just order the non-spicy. I cannot believe how awesome these prawns look. Heads on, so rip the tail off and suck out the inside of the head. Oh man, that is so good. If you've not done that before, start doing it. A little bit weird, yes, but there is an amazing flavor in there. Give it a squeeze and suck out the juice. Such a nice, rich prawn flavor. But like I said, look at the size of that meat. And excuse my hands, but I think there is no other way to eat a prawn than get your hands messy. So let's get a little bit of everything. Mm. Juicy prawn. Obviously, if a prawn is overcooked, it can go a bit bullet-like, a bit rubbery. But these are perfectly cooked. You can see how quickly he cooked them, keeping them moist. For me, I'm going to use a little bit of this on the side. And you can do that. It's fish sauce with chilies. So to amp up the chili flavor even more, but it adds another saltiness too. But as I always tell you, taste it first and see what you think it needs. There are other condiments. There's chili sauce on the table. And then you have a ketchup as well. But for this, for me, just go with the fish sauce and chilies if you need it. If not, just take it as it is because there is a lot of flavor in that sauce. This is one of Thailand's national dishes for a reason. I think everyone thinks that pad thai, pad thai is the national dish of Thailand. And that's what we as foreigners think it is, but actually Pad Krapao is way more synonymous with what people eat on a day-to-day -day basis in Thailand as a national dish. And you get it absolutely everywhere, but there's, as I say, with a lot of things, there really is a difference between good food and great food. And it is worth seeking out great food like this. And then let's just try a little bit of it with that egg. The egg adds a richness and a creaminess. As you break that egg yolk, it just seeps over the pad krapao. And I showed you how it was cooked. I, I have never seen or thought of it like that. Cooking the white first, 
to get that perfect crispy white, and then putting the yolk on top and very quickly cooking that. So it stays this amazingly runny, rich yolk. I guess if you put them in together, then the yolk is going to be overcooked by the time you've got that nice crispy white. So that's definitely something I've learned. And I'll be using that in future when I'm cooking. You guys can try that home before me. I like the way they use two types of chilies, fresh chilies, that gives you the spiciness straight away. And then the dried chilies, which as you start to eat, it starts to hit you at the back of your throat. And you get a slow burn of that dry chili, the dry red chili and more of the like toasted rounded char flavor of the spice as well. I'm not gonna lie guys, and obviously I'll never lie to you. This pad crepao is probably one of the best I've had in Thailand for sheer flavor and quality. I mean, yes, you might get cheaper elsewhere, but to beat this one in quality and flavor, I think you're going to be struggling. Mm. And that sauce, yes, it has palm sugar in. It's really nicely balanced. You know I'm always reaching for the vinegar, but this doesn't need it. There is a sweetness to it. And of course, the sweetness and delicateness comes from those prawns, but it's perfectly in balance. Right. Pad Krapao Mu. And as I say, this is one that if you're ordering, just ordering Pad Krapao, it will probably come as Mu. It'll probably come as pork if you're not getting a choice, of course. <clears throat> This is the one where you search for a recipe in Europe or England or wherever you are. This is the one that will probably pop up. And again, it looks amazing. I just love the color of this dish. You have the white rice as the blank canvas below and then the vibrant green of the Thai basil followed by the pop of those red chilies. Level five spicy. I didn't go too crazy, but there's a lot of chili in there and that perfectly fried egg on top again. Eggs here are 10 baht to add on top of the dish and Trust me, you need to be adding that 10 baht. So let's break open that yolk. <laughs> it just pops. And the difference between an overcooked egg and a perfectly fried egg is like night and day. What you want to do is get that yolk all mixed in there, add a little bit of the fish sauce with chili once again. And then get that mixed in. This is the one that I've had before. So I know this one is good, but I want to show you guys. Mm. This is one which I do not get tired of eating. An intense flavor of pork, which is important because when you have so much spice, sometimes the flavor of meat can get lost. But when you have the good quality like this, the porkiness comes through. You can taste the oyster sauce. You can taste the palm sugar. You can taste the soy sauce. And then the crepau leaves and then the spice from the chili as it hits you and then that egg just brings it all together the egg yolk just brings it all together with a little crunch from the fried white this is one of the best dishes in thailand you cannot come to thailand without trying pad crepau and i think you need to come on the other side of the river into tombori to original pad crepau to try these dishes or at least one of these dishes trust me you will not regret making the journey across here and the good thing about the rice, having this plain white rice below, is that it acts as like a dampener to the spice. So you can increase your heat a little bit because when it's mixed with that rice, it's not quite as spicy as what you saw when it was in there hitting the back of my throat. Mm. Another winner. I think, well, I think you need to order them both, to be honest. They're very good value and very tasty. And you may only be here once, so hey, why not order it? both of them but if you're only going to order one oh man that's a tough choice prawn one is amazing and i'm looking at it now and it's looking back at me saying choose me choose me but i think if you're going to have one maybe you have to go with the pork not because it's necessarily better than the prawn it's more the traditional synonymous dish that you're going to see everywhere so you can use that as a baseline for the rest of them. But yeah, if you're like me, just order them both and tell her that I told you that. I won't spend too long on the description of this broth, but we should try it. Mm. Actually, 
It is very good. It's very clear, it's very clean. Yes, it's a meat broth, but actually you can taste the vegetables in there. Very rich, very intense. And it's a nice palate cleanser between the two dishes, actually, or at the end of your dish. I normally eat it at the end, so don't skip the broth. And just before I finish up, I just wanted to tell you how safe and how friendly Thailand is. At the start of this road, I put my bag down, got the camera out, and then like a smart guy, walked off without my bag. Walked all the way down this road in about five minutes and uh, realized I hadn't got my bag. So ran back down the end of the road. And there was a guy with a motorbike holding my bag for me, waiting for me to come back. I mean, think where you live. Would that happen? I don't think so. Everything was inside the bag. G gave me a smile, gave me the bad back and said, have a good day. I mean, come on guys. <laughs> that was fantastic. And the spice is starting to build in my mouth now, but love it. As I said, one of the best pad crepels I've had, both the prawn and the pork, highly recommended. Also highly recommended from Gary, the Roman cook who filmed here. I actually just dived into this place one day when it was raining and I thought I had found it. <laughs> and I said to him, oh, I found this amazing Pad Crepel place. And uh, turns out he'd already filmed here. So I'm gonna semi take this one as I found it myself. But the next place we're gonna go to for Pad Thai is recommended by Gary. So he can get the credit for that one. I'm gonna pay up 158 baht for both of these dishes and the two eggs on top. Pretty damn good value, I'd say. I'll see you guys at the next stop. Kop kung kap. Bye bye kap. Bye bye. Bye bye kap. Bye bye. To be honest guys, this video is probably long enough and the pad thai is so good, it deserves its own video. So I'll see you guys next time where we eat the pad thai.